Hey, good morning everyone. Thanks for tuning in. Um, this is an Align Level 3 class, which means we um, spend a little bit more time in the poses and we play around with some weirder poses. We're going to do a, quite a few weird things today. So whenever that happens, I always invite you to just be very respectful of your body and to almost embrace an attitude of gentleness. Because um, if we go into weird positions with aggression, um, I think it can sometimes not always be the best experience for our body. So can you embrace an attitude of gentleness today? And if something doesn't feel quite right, then just um, feel free to watch or um, take a break or modify as you need to. Uh, this week on Tuesday, we were talking about the importance of questioning and doubting our thoughts. Um, and just because we think something doesn't always mean it's true because um, we have so many thoughts in a day. Um, just because we think we're a horrible person doesn't always mean that that's true. So there's value and importance to doubting our thoughts and questioning them from time to time. And I want to take it a little bit further today and say, um, uh, pose the question, who are we when we let go of all our stories? And ultimately, this practice of yoga is based around this idea of peeling back our identities um, layer by layer. And we identify ourselves in so many different ways, um, you know, as like a brother, husband, partner, um, uh, grocery store clerk, ballet dancer, yoga teacher, um, marathon runner, um, housewife. We have all these different identities that we superimpose on ourselves. And the practice of yoga is acknowledging how we identify ourselves and how our ego identifies ourselves. And then being able to kind of acknowledge that we're more than that. And um, it goes back to the question of who are we when we let go of all of our stories? Who are we when we let go of all of our identities? And um, that can sometimes be like a bit of a scary thing to do, but it can also be really liberating. So for example, when I went through my first divorce um, with my first husband back in Canada, um, my story for like a whole year was, I'm a divorcee, <laughs> you know? Like that, whenever I would talk to people, I was like, you know, I, I just went through a divorce and I'm, I'm having a tough time. And you know, that was kind of how I would identify myself and um, talk to people about. And it got to a point like um, six months or five months after the divorce happened, just being like, you know what? I'm really tired of telling the story. I'm so bored of the story. I don't want to identify myself anymore as a divorcee. I want to let that go. And ultimately, that's what this whole practice of yoga is about, is realizing how we identify ourselves and asking ourselves, do we still want to keep telling the story? Or is it time to let go of the story? And ultimately, we let go of all our stories and it's like taking off all our clothes and we become naked and one with the universe, one with God. So, yeah. But you, as, as you all saw, I still told you all about my divorcee story. So I guess there's a little more work to be done. Yes, I've only been divorced once. Only divorced once. <laughs> I'm engaged right now. Yay. Um, okay, we're going to start on our mat. If you can head on over to your mat. <clears throat> and once you're on your mat, lie down on your back. And once you're on your mat, um, take your feet so they're mat distance wide, let your knees come together. And place your hands on your belly, close your eyes. And just before we start class, can you take a moment to ponder, you know, what's a recurring story you keep telling yourself in your life.
and what would it feel like to let go of that story? Is it scary or liberating or both? Who are you when you let go of all your stories? What's underneath all the identities of the ego? And then please interlace your hands underneath your head. Take a deep breath in. Hey, exhale, uh, lift your shins up so they're parallel to the floor. Lift your head and shoulders up off the ground. And wrap your forearms around the sides of your skull. Get your shoulder blades right off, up, off the floor. Okay, take a deep inhale into your body. And then exhale, twist your torso and your chest towards the right. And try to keep your right shoulder blade off the ground. And try to keep your knees right over your hips. And then try to bring your elbows towards your right knee. But don't move your knees towards you. Keep your knees right over your hips. And try to lift your torso, your chest, your elbows up to that right knee. And then inhale, come back to center. And exhale, twist towards the left. Try to get both shoulder blades off the ground. Can you get both shoulder blades up high? Keep twisting to the left. Can you get your elbows and your chest closer towards your left knee? Twist, 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 twist. And then inhale, come back to center. And exhale, twist towards the right. Try to get both shoulder blades off the ground. You can do it. Lift the chest. Try to get the elbows closer to the right knee. One more time. Inhale, center. And exhale over to the left. Try to get both shoulder blades off the ground. Keep the knees right over your hips. Lift, lift, lift. And twist, twist, twist. And then inhale, come back to center. Exhale, release. Right ankle on your left thigh. Hug your left shin in for thread the needle pose. Take a slow, steady breath in. Slow, steady breath out. Deep inhale. Full exhale. So even in this practice of yoga, we try to let go of identities. And even in the yoga practice, we can start building an identity around yoga. Ooh, I'm a really good yogi. Or, ooh, I'm a really bad yogi. And it's about moving beyond, beyond that. Maybe just saying, I'm a yogi. Eventually moving beyond that. And just saying, I am. And then eventually beyond that. And just saying, am. And then beyond that nothingness. Take one more deep inhale. We're going deep today. Full exhale. And release. Hey, switch sides. Left ankle on your right thigh. Hug your right leg in. Keep your left foot flexed. Gently hug your right shin in towards you. Try to imagine as if your left thigh is moving away from you. Can you take a slow, steady breath in? Slow, steady breath out. And if you can really focus on your breath, like if you really let your mind be totally consumed by your breathing, then all the stories that you tell yourself just disappear. You simply become your breath. Take 
Take another deep inhale. Full exhale. Good. Knees over your hips, hands behind your head, interlace your fingers. Lift your head and shoulder blades off the ground. <clears throat> Twist towards the right, please. Try to get your shoulder blades and your chest up as high as you can. Go for it. Twist a little more to the right. We're only going to hold for three. Can you get your elbows closer towards your right knee? Hold for two. Get your shoulder blades up a little higher for one. And then inhale, come back to center. Keep your shoulder blades off the ground. And exhale, twist towards the left. Keep both shoulder blades off the ground. Lift, 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 lift. Twist, 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 twist. Can you lift up, 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 up? Good. And then come back to center and exhale, release. <clears throat> Place your right ankle on your left thigh again. Thread the needle again on the right hand side. <clears throat> if you have really tight hips, like if you're like, oh gosh, my hips are tight, then stay here. Otherwise, take both hands in between the legs and hook your elbows around your right shin bone, kind of like a forklift. Place your left foot on the ground. Left foot on the ground. Keep your left elbow around your right ankle. Now take your right hand behind you. Reach towards the wall behind you with your right hand. Take the right hand behind your head and grab onto your left hand. And, and then let your head relax down into the arm. Let your head relax down into your right arm. And option to stay here or straighten your left leg straight forward towards the front of your mat. Okay. Steady breath in. Steady breath out. And I'd like you to focus on actively pushing your right ankle, your right shin forward into your left elbow so that you activate <laughs> the leg rather than just being passive. So press the right ankle, the right shin forward and up into your left elbow, but then let your head release down into the right arm. Good. Take one more deep inhale. Full exhale. Well done. Release. Switch sides. Left ankle on your right thigh. Uh, thread the needle, hug your right shin in, and if you're like, whew, my hips still feel quite tight, then stay here. Otherwise, both arms in between the legs. Take the crooks of your elbows around your left shin bone and place your right foot on the ground, right knee bent. Option to stay here or take your left hand back behind you, release it. Reach the re left hand to the back wall. Then take your left hand behind your head and hold hands. Left hand grabs onto the right hand. Keep your left foot flexed. Option to straighten your right leg straight forward towards the front of your mat. Okay. If that's too intense, keep your right knee bent. And rather than being completely passive here, I'd like you to push your left ankle and shin forward and up into your right elbow as you let your head release down against your left arm. Okay. Take three more breaths. Two. And one more deep inhale. Good. And then exhale, release. Hug both knees into your chest. That's called pigeon got hit by a car pose. Rock yourself all the way up onto your hands and knees. <clears throat> uh, please uh, come right into downward dog pose. Tuck your toes. Um, let your heels release down towards the ground, downward facing dog. Let, feel free to take any movements that you need to, to feel good. Bending one knee at a time or shuffling the feet. Can you t turn Bluetooth off on your phone so it doesn't pair with the AirPod by accident? Sorry, I was just talking to Joe, the love of my life. I'm using his AirPods right now to talk to you and I just don't want it to pair with his phone and then suddenly can't hear me anymore. Okay, so 
Please come to a place of stillness and downward dog pose. Push strongly through your hands and drive the tops of your thighs back and up towards the sky so your butt gets real high. Focus your eyes on one spot between your feet. And then can you find a bit of external rotation through your arms? Um, so roll your inner bicep, the inner arm of your upper arm forward and wrap the outer shoulders back and push strongly down through your inner hands, through your thumb knuckle and index finger knuckle. Keep pressing the tops of your thighs back and up so that your butt stays nice and high. Can you let the heels of your feet release down towards the ground, but keep lifting the inner arches of your feet. Claw all 10 fingertips into your mat so your hands are active. Take one more full inhale. And a complete exhale. And please step your right foot forward between your hands. <clears throat> Bend into your front knee deeply, press that back thigh up nice and high, reach the center of your chest forward. Elongate through the spine. Can you press the very top of your left thigh bone right near your left hip up? And if you do that, it's gonna lift the left side of your pelvis up a bit. So the very top of your left thigh bone in the hip socket, drive it up towards the ceiling. So your left hip lifts a little. Keep bending into the front knee and reaching the center of the chest forward. Hug the outer right hip in. Keep the left knee straight. Take one more full inhale. And exhale, squeeze your inner thighs to the midline and then reach both arms overhead. Biceps level with your ears. Can you focus your eyes on one spot on the floor? Steady breath in. Steady breath out. Can you straighten the arms, lift them up a little higher. Keep hugging the outer right hip to the left. Good, stay with me, one more breath, lift the arms. Keep pressing the back thigh up. Exhale, both hands come down, downward dog pose. Take a full breath into your body. Full breath out. Step your left foot forward between your hands. <clears throat> uh, bend into your left knee. Reach the center of your chest forward. Press the very top of your right thigh bone right up near your right hip, up towards the ceiling. So the right side of your pelvis lifts. And then try to keep both sides of your pelvis symmetrical from left to right and bend a little bit deeper into your front knee. Reach the center of your chest forward, elongate through the spine. Vigorously press the right thigh up so it's nice and strong and lifted. And can you keep the right heel, your back heel, more or less over the creases of your toes? So you're not driving the heel too far back and you're not moving the heel too far forward. The bottom of your right foot is totally vertical. Hug your outer left hip in so that it's not swinging off to the left. Move the left hip in a little to the right. And inhale, reach both arms overhead. Three breaths. Turn the palms up to the sky. Find that external rotation of the arms. Two, keep drawing the front low ribs in. Try not to go too low in the pelvis. Use the strength of the legs to lift up. One last deep inhale, and exhale, hands down, <clears throat> downward facing dog pose. Take a steady breath in, and a steady breath out. Step your right foot forward between your hands. Turn your left foot out at a like 45 degree angle-ish, and inhale, warrior one. If this doesn't quite work for you, take crescent lunge, that's fine. Bend into your front knee deeply and stretch the arms up 
Bring your hands slightly in front of you and see if you can bring the palms to touch. Look up towards the thumbs. Wrap the upper inner left thigh. So your inner left thigh spins back. So your left hip turns a little more forward. Go a little low in your legs. Reach a little higher up through the arms. And can you stay anchored through the back foot? Ground the outer edge of the back foot down. Keep the depth in the front leg. Stretch the arms up, pull the low ribs in. Take one more inhale. Can you lift the arms up higher, look up higher? Exhale, hands come down. Downward dog pose. Take a full breath into your body and a full breath out. Pivot the right foot out about 45 degrees. Step your left foot forward, <coughs> warrior one. Or if you need to, you can take crescent. Both hands come up. Bend deeply into your left knee, like go for it. And as you get a little more parallel with that front thigh to the floor, can you stretch those arms up? Bring the hands slightly in front of you and gaze towards your thumbs. Stretch the arms up higher to the sky, go lower in the legs. Seal the outer edge of your back foot towards the floor if you can. Keep wrapping your inner right thigh back so your right hip turns a little more forward. Stretch the arms up higher. Maybe go a little lower in your legs. Pull your left thigh back into the hip socket a little. Lift your frontal hip points up. Reach up higher. Take one more full inhale. Exhale, hands come down. Downward facing dog pose. <clears throat> Take a deep inhale into your body. Full exhale. Inhale, plank pose. Take a full breath in and plank. Stay for the exhale. Get the back of your head level with your spine. Try to get your pelvis level with your shoulders. And push the floor strongly away so that we really engage our serratus anterior, the muscle that wraps from your shoulder blade around to your ribs. And you can engage it more strongly by really pushing the floor away. And then just make sure you don't give yourself too much of a hunchback. So keep reaching the center of your chest forward. Take one more big inhale. Chaturanga, exhale. Your choice, upward dog or cobra. Take a deep breath in. Downward facing dog pose, full exhale. Take a deep breath into your body. Full breath out. Okay, take your knees to the ground. We're going to take a head stand. If head stand's not in practice, dolphin, or if you need to use the wall, use the wall. Set yourself up. Head stand. Tuck your toes, lift your knees, walk your feet in, and then up you go. So, if you're in head stand, you want the majority of the weight in the arms. So you're really driving the elbows and the forearms down against the ground. So much so you might even get out to a point in your practice where you can kind of hover your head a couple of millimeters off the ground. Keep driving the elbows and forearms down. Keep the legs together. Draw the front low ribs in. And we'll take 10 more slow deep breaths. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Can your breaths be really deep, really slow? Notice if you're back bending, can you lengthen your tailbone up to your heels? Keep driving those elbows and forearms down, shoulders away from your ears. Last two breaths. Okay, one last deep inhale. Exhale, slowly hinge at the hips, pike. Take a full breath in, and then come all the way down. Downward dog pose. Downward dog. Gently nod your head, yes. 
Gently nod your head. No. Let your head totally release. Step your feet forward to the top of your mat. Take your feet hip distance wide. Take your hands behind your calves, fingertips pointing down. Push your hands forward against the calves, the Achilles tendon. Push your forearms forward against the calves. Push the calves, your shin bones back against your hands and forearms. Try to fold in a little deeper. On your inhale, can you try to lengthen through your spine a bit more? And then exhale, hinge from the hips. Let your head drop. Draw your shoulders away from your ears so your neck gets longer. Notice if you're leaning the weight a little too far forward into the toes or too far back into the heels of the feet. Can you keep the weight right in the middle, in the center of your foot? Take one last deep inhale. Full exhale. Well done. Place your fingertips on the ground, heel toe, heel toe, your feet together. Bend your knees, sit your bum nice and low. Inhale, reach your arms forward and up. So if you've been doing my classes this week, you know how much we've been doing Utkatasana. Fierce pose is what it translates as. Sit your butt down and back. So it's meant to be fierce. Lift your chest. And then hook your thumbs. So hook your thumbs around one another. And stretch your arms forward. And then try to pull your hands apart. And as you pull your hands away from one another, keep the thumbs hooked, wrap the outer shoulders forward. Lift your arms up higher and see if you can begin to try to get your arms behind your head. Arms behind your head. Sit your butt low, try to keep your neck totally neutral, your skull totally neutral. So you're not doing anything weird with the neck or head. You're just trying to get your butt low. Embrace the ferocity. Try to get the arms up and try to get the arms back. Try to open across the chest. Pull the lower ribs in. Two more breaths. Try to stay with me. Sit your bum down and back. Lift those arms up. One more breath. Arms up, chest up, butt down low. Exhale, fold over your legs, release. Halfway lift, inhale. Good. Exhale, hands down towards the ground. Step back, plank pose. Take a deep breath in and plank. Full breath out. And you drop your knees to the ground. If you have a block, you can grab one and place it in the middle of your mat. Elbows and forearms to the ground. Hands around your block if you have one. If not, palms just on the ground. We're going to take Pinchamayarasana. Um, if uh, you need to use the wall, scooch to the wall. Tuck your toes, lift your knees off the ground. Dolphin pose. Option to stay here, you know, if you don't want to go upside down or it's not available today, just stay in dolphin. Otherwise, walk your feet in, lift your right leg up and kick up. Wherever you are, can you take five more breaths? Breathe. Four. Try to drive the elbows and the forearms down. Three, get those legs up. Two, pull the front low ribs in. One last breath. Okay, exhale, come down. Come to either child's pose or seated meditation and just take a moment to close your eyes. Allow everything to soften. Can you observe if your mind is telling you stories about what you can and can't do, about who you are and who you are not? And can you let go of any of those stories and simply listen to your breathing? And blink your eyes open. Yay, other, other side. Forearms down, dolphin pose, tuck your toes, lift your knees, walk your feet in. Option to just stay in dolphin or lift your left leg up and kick up. 
Once you're upside down, can you focus your eyes on one spot if you're upside down? Regardless of where you are, can you drive the elbows and forearms down, pull the front low ribs in, lengthen the tailbone up towards your feet. Three more breaths. Two, keep pushing the elbows and forearms down, legs up. One last breath and then come down. Downward dog pose. Take a full breath into the body and a full breath out. Beautiful work, my friends. Step your right foot forward between your hands. Spin your back heel flat. Warrior two pose, come all the way up. Bend into your right knee. Square your chest towards the left. Can you go a little bit lower in the legs? Lengthen up through the torso. <clears throat> Put both of your hands on your hips and just see if you can get your spine, um, both waists equally long. So your right waist and your left waist, can they be equally tall, equally long? Almost push your leg bones down with your hands a little and then lift and lengthen up through the torso. Let your shoulders relax down your back and then reach your hands forward and back. Come back to classical warrior two arms. Go a little lower in the legs. Look just off the tip of your right middle finger. Steady, slow breath in. Steady, slow breath out. Deep inhale. Full exhale. Notice if the stories want to creep in. You know, my story is usually, oh, I don't like warrior two. Why do we have to do it? Can't we just skip it? <laughs> it's like, can you just instead focus on your breath? Three more breaths. Two, keep the depth in your legs. Keep opening that right knee towards the right. Keep lifting the torso up. Hey, reverse warrior two, reach all the way back, take a full inhale. Hey, exhale, straighten your front leg. Straighten the front leg. Arms parallel to the floor. Heel toe your back foot in a little and turn your back foot in about 20 degrees. Reach far forward, take your right hand down and wrap it around your right ankle. Reach your left hand up towards the sky. Trikonasana, triangle. Can you straighten both legs? Push the balls of both feet down. Now try not to rest in your right hand. Use your right hand and try to pull away from your right ankle, your right shin. Try to lift that right shin, that right ankle away from the ground. If you can, try to turn your head up and look up towards your left thumb. If it's too much on your neck, look down. Turn the chest up. Lengthen through the right side of your torso. So the right hip glides back. You get longer on the right waist. Your left waist shortens a little. Three more breaths. Two. And one last deep breath in. Exhale, both hands come down towards the ground. <clears throat> and step back, downward facing dog pose. Take a steady breath in and downward dog. And a steady breath out. And you step your left foot forward between your hands. <clears throat> Warrior two, come all the way up. Bend into your left knee. Square your chest towards the right. Spread your hands in opposite directions and see if you can get both waists equally tall as you go a little bit lower in both legs. Keep squaring the chest towards the right, yet look just off the tip of your left middle finger. Slow, smooth breath in. Slow, steady breath out. You can keep your eyes steady. 
can keep the breath deep. Relax through the shoulders. Sometimes doing the yoga postures a little more slowly with longer holds can be harder physically and psychologically because often as a species, we're used to moving at a faster pace. So if you find the longer holds, a slower pace, a little more challenging, it's totally normal. Don't be too hard on yourself. Reverse warrior two, reach back. Stretch the left arm behind you. Take a full breath into the body. Exhale back to warrior two. Straighten your front leg. Heel toe the back foot in a little and turn your back foot slightly forward. Reach far forward and then take your left hand, wrap it around your left ankle, right hand up towards the sky. Turn your chest up, look up. Pull up against your left shin. Keep turning the chest towards the ceiling. Anchor down through both feet. Deep ujjayi breath in. Steady ujjayi breath out. Shoulder blades draw down the back. Final three breaths. Notice if you're lefting and you're resting in your left hand, pull the left hand up against the shin bone. Okay, one more deep inhale. Exhale, both hands come down towards the ground. Step back, downward dog pose. Take a deep breath in and downward dog. Full breath out. Step your right foot so it's in the middle of your mat. Okay. We're doing handstand, so if you need to go to the wall quickly, go to the wall. Left leg lifts up, come onto your right tippy toes, push through your hands. Option one, stay here, or kick up, handstand. If you get upside down, push strongly through both hands. We'll take 10 more breaths. Keep rolling the inner thighs back, tailbone up. Nine. Eight. Seven. Try to stay with it. Six. Push the floor away. Five. Four. Three, keep those arms straight. Two, good, and then one, come down. Come to either child's pose or a kneeling seated meditation. Close your eyes, take a couple of breaths. Notice if any stories begin to surface. Oh, I suck at handstands. Or, ooh, I'm amazing at handstands, I'm the best. Can you let go of any story that surfaces and simply return to the feeling of your breath? Beautiful, please place your hands on the ground. Handstand, one more time. <clears throat> Step your left foot more in the middle of your mat, underneath your belly. Lift your right leg up towards the sky. You can stay here. Maybe you're at the wall. Here we go. Kick up. We're going to be here for 10 breaths. So it's a considerable hold. Nine. Keep pushing the floor away. Eight. Pull the front low ribs in. Seven. Stay focused. Six. Try your best. Five, try not to be too hard on yourself. Four, have a little fun with it maybe. Three, you're almost there. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Two, and then one. Okay, come down. Forward fold at the top of your mat. So take your feet hip distance wide. Slide your hands underneath your feet, Padahastasana. Push your toes down into your wrist creases. So the palms are facing up. Your hands are under your feet. Push the toes down into the wrist creases. Bend the elbows back to the shins. Let the belly come towards the thighs. Let the head release. Take a steady breath into your body. Steady breath out. Three more breaths. Legs are straight. 
too. Let your head totally relax. One. Well done. Hands on the ground. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Heel toe, heel toe, your feet together. Bend your knees, sit your bum low. Inhale, Utkatasana, fierce pose. Yes, we can do it. Sit the bum down and back. Hook your thumbs the opposite way as before, if you can remember. Lift those arms up. Sit the bum low. Can you embrace the intensity of the pose? It's meant to be an intense pose. Butt goes low. Arms lift up. Can you take the arms behind the head? Try to keep your head neutral. Take only one more breath. Hands to your heart in prayer. Now twist to the left. Right elbow to the outside of the left knee. Keep sitting your bum down and back. Keep reaching your chest forward and up. And twist to the left. Two more breaths. Deep inhale. Can you sit your butt a little lower? Good. One more breath. Can you sit your butt a little lower? Good. And now try to slide your right shoulder down a little bit more. And take the right hand towards the ground and your left hand up towards the sky. Two more breaths. Open across the chest, reach that left hand straight up. One more deep inhale. And exhale, hands back to prayer. Inhale to center, try to stay with me. Exhale, twist towards the right, other side. Bring your palms together. Turn, revolve the chest open to the right. Keep sitting your bum down and back. Keep lifting your chest. Two more breaths. Good, and then see if you can go a little bit deeper. Slide the left shoulder down the knee. Maybe take the left hand down, right hand up, twist. Deep inhale. Full exhale. Turn the chest open, reach that right arm up. One more deep breath in. Full breath out. Good. Hands back together in prayer. Inhale, come to center. Stand all the way up. Well done. Hands on your hips. Step your right foot back. Turn all 10 toes to face the right side of your mat. Feet are parallel. Inhale, stand tall through the spine. Exhale, fold forward. Hook your middle and index fingers around your big toes. Inhale, elongate through your spine. Reach the center of your chest forward. Exhale, bend your elbows out to either side and let your head release down towards the ground. Draw your shoulders away from your ears. Let your head release. Take a steady breath in. Steady breath out. Three more breaths. Two. Okay, one last deep breath in. Good. Hands on the ground under your shoulders. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Option one, walk your hands back so they align with the heels of your feet. Bend your elbows. Place the crown of your head on the ground. You can stay there or come up to tripod headstand. Or if press handstand is in your practice, Keep your hands under your shoulders, come onto your tippy toes, lift your heels, and maybe press up. Wherever you are, take another four breaths. Three, you can keep your breath steady and deep. Two, try to keep your eyes focused. And if your legs are up, slowly bring them back down towards the ground. Amazing. Hands to your hips, please. Elongate your spine. Inhale, come all the way up to a standing position. Turn towards the front of your mat. All right. Here we go. Bend your knees. Sit your bum. Utkatasana. Inhale. Exhale, hands to your chest. Twist to the left. Right elbow to the outside of the left knee. Come onto your tippy toes. Lower your bum to your heels. Place both hands on the ground to the left. Pick both feet up. Parjva Bakasana, twisted crow, twisted crane. 
See if you can straighten both legs towards the front. Rebend both knees and then place the foot on the ground. Good. Inhale, Utkatasana. Exhale, hands in prayer. Twist towards the right. <clears throat> Lift your heels up, lower your bum towards your heels. Pop both hands on the ground. Parshva Bakasana. This means your legs stay together. Bend the elbows, lift the legs. Option to straighten both legs forward. Hold. Rebend the knees. Good. Feet come down. Back into Utkatasana. Inhale. Oh my gosh. So many Utkatasanas. Lift your right knee up. Place your right ankle on your left thigh. Place your right ankle on your left thigh. Good. Hands in prayer. Hands in prayer. Okay. Sit your bum down and back. Option one, just stay here or bring your right elbow into the arch of your right foot. Twist your chest towards the left. Keep sitting your bum down and back. Inhale, can you get your chest a little more forward? Elongate the spine. Exhale, twist. Two more breaths. One last breath. Listen carefully. Left hand comes down towards the ground, right leg goes back, half moon pose. So right leg goes back and up towards the sky, half moon. Left hand is on the ground. Turn your chest open to the right. Lift that right leg up, up, up towards the sky. Push down through your left hand to turn the chest open a little more. And bend your right knee. Reach back, catch the top of your right foot, kick it back. Ardha Chandrasana Chapasana. Four breaths. Three. If you fall out, no worries, just come back in. Two. Can you keep lifting that right knee up? One last breath. And straighten your right leg, lift the leg high, both hands down. Tuck your right knee behind your left heel and sit down. Take your left, so this is kind of a weird transition, but we'll all figure it out. Take your left ankle back beside your left butt. And then take your right shin so that your right knee is at a 90 degree angle. You might be a little bit on a diagonal on your mat, that's okay. Place um, your left hand in your right foot, in the arch of your right foot. Inhale, elongate the spine and exhale, fold directly over your right shin bone. Inhale, can you get a little bit longer through the torso? And exhale, can you fold directly over the shin? Push your right foot into your left hand. So your left hand is pressing against the, the arch of your right foot. Option to stay here, or take your right elbow into the arch of your right foot. Bring your palms together and twist your chest open to the left. Take two more breaths. Maybe one last deep inhale. Full exhale. Okay, come, come up. Take your left leg straight out in front of you. Cradle your right leg. So you can hold the right ankle or shin like a little baby, or if you want to take it a little bit further, take the right foot into your left elbow and your right elbow around your right knee, interlace your hands, inhale, sit tall. Take two more breaths. Good, one last breath. Catch your right ankle again, lift your right foot up. Take your whole right leg back and your right sit bone back. Take your right tricep behind your right knee and place your right hand on the ground. With your left hand, grab onto the outside edge of your right foot. Compass pose. Begin to kick your right foot up towards the sky, straightening the right leg. And then bring your head through your left arm and look towards the left.
Okay, re-bend your right knee, Ashtavakrasana, right hand on the ground, left hand on the ground. Push down through your feet, lift your butt up. Cross your left ankle over your right ankle. Bring your feet towards the right, Chaturanga arms and straighten the legs, Ashta. Take a full breath in, full breath out. Good. See if you can sneak the left foot back into Ekapada Kundanyasana. And then we'll all meet in downward dog pose. So if that was sheer craziness for you, don't worry about it. Just let it go. We'll meet in downward dog. Take a deep breath in and a full breath out. Step to the top of your mat. Inhale, Utkatasana. Butt low, arms up. All right, lift your left knee up. Place your left ankle over the right knee. Sit your bum down and back. Hands together in prayer. Hey, okay, bring your left elbow into the arch of your left foot if you can. Palms together, twist your chest towards the right. Keep elongating your spine forward and up as your butt sits down and back. Two more breaths. One last breath. Okay, we're gonna go right into half moon pose. So bring, bring that left foot behind you, right hand on the ground, left hand up towards the sky. Turn the chest open. Push the right hand down into the ground to open that chest. Lift the left leg a little higher and then bend the left knee, reach back, catch that left foot. Chapasana. Can you begin to kick the foot back as you open the chest? Four more breaths. Three. Two. Good. Come back to half moon pose. One breath in. Both hands come down to the ground. Tuck your left knee behind your right heel. Sit onto your butt. And then take your right ankle towards your right buttock. And then bring your left shin, so uh, your left knee is at a 90 degree ankle. Kind of like deer pose if you do yin yoga. Place your right hand in the arch of your left foot. Put your left hand on the ground just slightly to the left and in front of you. Inhale, elongate the spine. And exhale, fold directly over your left shin bone with your torso. Option to just stay here or take your left elbow into the arch of your left foot. Bring your palms together and twist your chest open towards the right. Can you take two more breaths? Good, and then come up, swing your right leg out in front of you. Catch your left ankle, either cradle it with your forearms or take your left foot into the crook of your right elbow. Left elbow around the left knee, interlace your hands. Inhale, sit tall, nice tall spine. Breathe, deep inhale. Keep the chest broad and lifted. Good. And then recatch your left ankle. Lift your left ankle and your left leg up. Move your left sit bone and your left leg back. Take your left tricep behind your left knee. Place your left hand down on the ground. Wrap your right hand around the outer edge of your left foot. You can just stay here or begin to straighten that left leg. Kick it back and up towards the sky. Bring your right head through the right arm and begin to look towards the right. Keep pressing your upper left arm back against your left leg so you're not collapsing through the left shoulder. Take two more breaths. Maybe smile. <laughs> One last breath. 
beautiful. And then slowly release that, but keep the left knee still on your left tricep, left hand on the ground, right hand on the ground, lift your butt up. Can you lift your right foot up, right ankle over top of the left, chaturanga arms, ashta vakrasana. Then see if you can sneak the right foot back, ekapada kundanyasana, and then we'll meet in downward dog pose. Take a full breath into your body and a full breath out. We're almost there, everyone. You're doing really good. Step to the top of your mat. <clears throat> Hands on your hips. Inhale, come all the way up. Grasshopper pose. This pose is a bit of a beast, so don't be too hard on yourself about it. Let's have some fun. Right ankle above your left knee, just like what we've been doing. Bend your left knee, sit your bum down and back. Take your hands to the ground and lower your butt down onto your left heel. Then walk both of your hands over towards the left. Try to get your right elbow against the arch of your right foot. And then place the right hand on the ground. Place your hands shoulder distance wide. Bend both elbows like you're doing chaturanga. And then see if you can lift the left foot off the ground. Maybe straighten the left leg. Hold for three, two, and then one. And then collapse to the floor. <sighs> okay, stand up. We'll do the other side. It's just a really weird pose. That's all it is. So can you be gentle with yourself? Modify if you need to, or you know, you can just take a moment, take a break, watch everyone else. It's live entertainment. <laughs> the things we do to ourselves on a Saturday morning, or if you're on the Western, um, if you're in Canada or America, uh, Friday night. Hands together in prayer. Sorry, hands to the ground. Bring your butt towards your right heel. Right? So the left knee is over the left ankle. Uh, left knee is, sorry, left ankle is above the right knee. One side's always a little trickier than the other. This is my harder side. Try to get your left elbow on the arch of your left foot. Take your hand shoulder distance wide to the right. Bend both elbows like you're doing chaturanga and then straighten the right leg. Good. Oh, oy vey. All right. Come to a kneeling position. If you have sensitive knees, sit on a block. Kneeling, virasana. Just so that we can get a little more length through our hip flexors. If you, um, if this type of kneeling is too intense on your knees, you can just take a lizard lunge, drop your back knee to the ground, do a lunge like this, okay? And then switch halfway through. Otherwise, if virasana is okay, Spread your calves, sit your bum down either towards the block or the ground, and then begin to lean back. Take your hands behind you. Lift your pelvis up again, tuck your tailbone forward so that you extend through the front of the hips a bit more, then lower your butt back down. Then maybe come down onto your elbows, and maybe come all the way down onto your back for supta virasana. So if this doesn't work for your body, do the lizard lunge I demonstrated earlier. Just one knee forward, one knee back. If you're in Supta Virasana, you can take your arms overhead and grab elbow to elbow. If you're in lizard lunge, you can come to your elbows and forearms or just have your hands on the ground. And can you breathe? This should feel like a nice release. So if it doesn't feel like a nice release, then take lizard lunge. If you are in lizard lunge, switch legs. And we'll take five more breaths here. Maybe you can let your eyes close. Breathe into your belly, into your ribs, into your chest.
Okay, if you're on your back, you're slowly gonna push yourself back up onto your elbows and then come all the way up to a seated Virasana. If you're in lizard lunge, uh, let's just make all our way onto our butts with our feet out in front of us. <clears throat> Please lie down onto your back. Hands down on either side of your hips. Push down into both feet. Lift your pelvis up. Bridge pose. Maybe roll your shoulders under and interlace the hands. Keep your knees hip distance wide. Keep pushing the feet down. Push your shoulders down to lift and open across the front of the chest. Take a deep, slow breath in and out. Hey, one more deep inhale. Full exhale. And roll your spine bone by bone back down to the ground. Straighten your legs forward just for a moment so the back can release. We'll do one more back bend. Bend your knees, because it's Saturday. <laughs> if you don't do a back bend on Saturday, when are you gonna do a back bend? And hands down beside your hips. If your back's feeling a little more like it requires a bit more gentleness today, then just stay with bridge. It's totally fine. Remember our attitude this morning is to be gentle with ourselves. Or take your hands up beside your ears. Lift your pelvis up. Um, maybe come to the top of your head if that's where you're progressing to. And then straighten your arms, Urdhva Dhanurasana. Can you take five breaths? Four. Three. Two. And one last deep inhale. And slowly, slowly, slowly roll your spine back down to the ground. Take your feet mat distance wide. Let your knees knock together for a constructive rest. And then let both of your knees fall to the right. Option to place your right ankle on top of your left knee. Bring your arms out to shoulder height and bend your elbows, cactus arms. Look over your left shoulder. Can you let your legs relax, let your belly relax? Let the muscles in your face soften. And both feet on the ground, let your knees come back to center. Keep your feet mat distance wide. Let your knees fall to the left. Option to place your left ankle on your right knee. Only if that makes the pose feel better for you. Turn your head over your right arm. Can you let your shoulders relax? your belly relax. Slowly bring your legs back to center. If you feel like you need to hug them into the chest, give them a big squeeze, feel free to. Otherwise, just come right into Shavasana, corpse pose. Can you let your whole body release against the ground? Shoulders relax. The hips.
hands, the feet, relax. There is a gentleness in your belly and face. Please take a deep breath in and out. Wiggle your fingers and toes. Take your arms overhead, give your body a big stretch. Bend your knees, roll onto your right hand side. Gently press yourself up to a comfortable seat. Please bring your hands together in front of your chest, palms touching. Can we be mindful of the stories we tell ourselves? And sometimes it can be very important to let go of certain stories, to make room for a new one. Have a beautiful day or sleep. Namaste.